Hi, it is um, 11.36 in the morning on Saturday the 28th of September 2024. I keep wanting to say October, but I don't know why I'm jumping ahead of myself. Um, I am really pleased to say that it's going really well this weekend, um, which I'm so happy about, so grateful for. Um, when I got back in to the house yesterday, after making my 20 minute video, <laughs> which I only saw was 20 minutes just now having a look, um, the first thing I saw was that my door was open and that something was on my bed what was on my bed didn't need to be there so um i think it was more just nosiness i've got no idea but you know not complaining um i do find it funny though that they had to open the door to put something on my bed and then hours later when i said i was going to go and lie down because i was tired um i shut the door because they were watching tv really loud and i um trying to block out the sound and for whatever reason I do find this hilarious yeah but um when I hung the door and shut it and I think I explained this yesterday it didn't latch right it was like there was a gap just like just a couple mil too big and it wasn't latching um with my I've got a, my jumper and my dressing gown hanging on the wall sort of side where the latches um which I need to move over but anyway the jumper arm sort of went between the door and the, the frame and I was able to shut it that way um 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 fellas anyway so Yesterday when I shut it at night though, um, it was like it was the complete opposite. It was very strange. It was almost like the door had expanded and it was harder to shut, but it stayed shut. I don't know, magic? I don't know anything about building. Um, though I will say, in all fairness to me, I am learning an awful lot, right? It was unbelievably fucking difficult to do what I did yesterday. And I did it, and I'm over the moon proud of myself. Um, but when I got back in, they were actually watching Channel 9. So there's no TV aerial, but there's like the Channel 9 app, which is live, so to speak, I guess. Well, as it is with what's playing through an aerial. Um, and they were watching a game show. I don't watch game shows, but it was entertaining watching it with them. Then the news, whatever else. But this is slightly frustrating. So I've been using Sammy's um, service streaming accounts because they're already all on the TV and she's got heaps of them. But with the Telstra TV box, like, finishing... They had to, she had to get something new in replace of it. Um, I didn't think the Telstra box was finishing until the end of October, but she's changed it over. And in doing so, she can't seem to log into anything. She keeps saying it's no longer through an email, it's through the phone. And like, I heard them trying to figure it out last night. And then this morning I asked them, did they get Netflix sorted? And they said no. Um, I really, I, I guess given how much money I'm spending to make the house better. And, and in all fairness, I'll clarify and say, at no point have I been asked to do any of this. But I couldn't have lived in the house in the way it was. Um, and, you know, they obviously do get the benefit of it. But um, I may have to, like... Well, it depends, I've decided. So, 
if I want to use Netflix on the big TV, um, I'll have to activate my one again because Sammy can't seem to figure it out. And I'm going to assume she probably doesn't care, right? Um, and that I can just pay my own. Um, but I do use that app that I've mentioned a few times. And it's got what's on Netflix on it. And it's on my phone and on my laptop. And it can screen mirror. And I asked if the if the TV was compatible for screen mirror mirroring. Um, and they see that it probably is. I'll have to figure that out. Won't be until they've gone, obviously. Um, but worst case, I can always get an HDMI cable. So there's that. I asked Sam if she had one and she said it's already connected to the TV. So I don't know what that's about. But it doesn't phase me because I really, really was exhausted. So Sunny made dinner last night. She made the most amazingly fucking delicious cheesy potato bake. It was so good. And I still had leftover salad made um, that we had. They had steak, obviously. I didn't. Um, and then... Everyone was tired. I was exhausted from the days that I've had and hanging that door. Like, that door was heavy, heavy, heavy. And I had to manage to, like, lift it so that I could align the holes with the hinges. Um, so I went to bed and I bought um, just some wired headphones for my laptop because I... I'm too tired to go and look at noise cancelling headphones because I've got to go into class for that. And um, honestly, I've just spent so fucking much money. It's not funny on stuff. Door, you know, I paid, I filled Moby's car and he's a big fucking tank. And he was like, you only needed to put 20 or 30 in it. And I was like, I wasn't raised like that. Um, I wasn't expecting it to cost $110.83. And I specifically went to one where I'd get my four cents off and I scanned it and they didn't give me my four cents off. So four cents a letter off, I should say, but either here nor there. Um, and I said to him, I was like, I didn't tell him what it cost. I just told him I filled it. And he's like, you didn't have to do that. And I was like, yeah, but he didn't have to lend me his car and not once, but twice. So like I'd already used like a half a tank of the fuel driving back and forth and then yesterday I had to drive to Glaston and back to where my house is and then bring it back and he's driven out to my house several times so it all adds up and to me it's just what goes around comes around it's the right thing to do um he was appreciative and Sunny and Sammy were pretty impressed with the kitchen Obviously, I said the floor needs to be finished, but it's looking better now as it is. I did say, you know, that I'd replace the, the, the filter. I meant to say the filter cartridge, apparently. I think I said this yesterday, too. And they asked me why, and I was like, because it needed it. Um, but I called about getting the technicians out. And it's a pipe technician that has to come out. And I just checked with Moby now because I've actually just come out from having a massage. It was fucking amazing. Our massage combination of deep tissue remedial and hot stones. She is so bloody good. I'm going to be budgeting for a one hour massage every week, I think. 55 bucks for one hour is amazing. Totally worth it. Anyway, so... um. I, yeah, I have to deal with that, with the pool. And I said to Moby, I was like, I mean, I've already spent so much money. I was like, once it's done, like, once it's finished, it's finished. So it'll be fine. I've got no idea what it'll cost. But if I don't pay for it and have it done, um, everything I've spent so far is pointless. But he did definitely clarify to me they will only be looking at the pool pipes. It has nothing to do with the house. Um, 
so that's good at least. Um, there, God, I'm getting a rash from the freaking humidity. Um, Sunny asked me to get beer for them when I came into town, but I was, I was like, yeah, if you give me the cash for it. But then she realized since I'm going to be over an hour getting a massage, they should just get it herself. Um, they brought chicken, no, they brought turkey babies home right which i have to look after and feed obviously because i'm there and they're not and yet they said to me it's not they're not pets olivia they're food and i'm just like oh, like that's all well and good if you had someone else to look after them but to make me look after baby fucking turkeys only for you to be killing them uh, i'm not overly happy about it just in the sense of like like it's I'm a vegetarian for a fucking reason like I live like a vegan except for cheese and fucking eggs yeah um but anyway I can feed them um and I'm just not gonna be around when the rest of it happens and yeah but um I'm feeling good I'm headed back now. I'm going to go check the mail again for Sammy. Because I checked it on Thursday. And I said, you know, I'll check it today. As there might be mail from yesterday. Um, I am pretty wrecked. But I'm going to go home and read the instructions on how to um, put in the floating shelf that I want to put in my room. Oh, and with the door, I don't know if I finished that story. So, at first it wouldn't latch, but then last night when I went to shut it, it was like it was too tight and it took more to get it in. And so I took a photo, well I realised and then took the photo, but there's meant to be like a gap about yay big at the bottom and at the top, right? And... I have no idea how, because I really thought I'd unlined the, the fucking hinges in the holes, but whatever. There is no gap at the top, right? It is just a straight smack flush with it, and yet the gap at the bottom is about this big. Um, I keep saying I'll take photos and upload them, I actually, I will do that. Um, but Moby said that he'll come when he can during the week, and he'll help me just to move it down slightly. And then that'll fix that. But um, I'm feeling good. I'm really happy. This weekend is definitely going better. So if you all just think happy thoughts that it continues to stay like this, that would be fantastic. Um, Sunny did say she's making a pasta bake for dinner tonight, but it has mints in it. And I was like, yeah, that's cool. I saw the mints in the fridge. Um... I was like, I can just, you know, make a salad. And she's like, yeah, I'll make a salad and some roast potatoes. And I'd be like, yeah, that's fantastic. Because I still have plant-based, um, oh, I was going to say I have plant-based tenders in the freezer. But I've actually got plant-based sausages, which are in the fridge. So I might eat them now that I've thought about it. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy. And I'm really happy it's going well. And, um. I guess that's it. I'll uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.